Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Septech, and yeah, I was an idiot last episode. So, what happened was this one side right here, I never replaced the marble arch with bricks. That was it. I busted my altar, put it back down, I missed a couple things, thinking that these marble bricks weren't the right ones for whatever reason, and all that stuff. I looked online for some common errors, and apparently one of them is if you use the chisel and bits, sometimes it doesn't register the block, I guess. I don't know. I swapped all that around and stuff. And no, it was just this one side. I was all focused on the corners and everything. As you might have noticed, I did this. Um, I got light wells with a liquid hopper leading into a liquid hopper leading up to just to look cool. So I have a big source of um, liquid starlight, and I was thinking about connecting all of these, but... I couldn't think of a way other than using a million liquid hoppers, and I didn't want to make so many to get the flow between all these, you know, so it looked cool. But I did that because the transmutation thing and a couple other ones take quite a bit of liquid starlight. Um, give us some tune. Uh, linking to. Weird that that it's weird. I thought the transmutation thing would be in the same section as the thing. Because I need to make a lot more star metal too, is the thing. And I don't want to do it the hard way, which is, um, making the crafting grid thing which makes you one piece for like several parts okay crafting altar crafting altar hmm I don't know I'm kind of losing it huh I must have just missed it on that other one should be on attunement. Where's under constellation? Infuser. Oh, is it the infuser that I need? Yeah. But if you look at this, this isn't too bad. I mean, it's a lot of marble that I hate because you have to do it like one piece at a time. But this is what I was talking about. Like, there's all these pools of uh, liquid. You need, you know, 12 liquid starlight buckets. I guess it's three on four sides. So I just got that going. There's a lapis block, I guess. Um, I'm probably not going to make that today because that's a pain. But we got this. It works. I um, started replacing these, you know, the ones that were down here. They're not all up yet. Uh, on this side, I just started doing them, like, right next to each other with overlapping connectors. Oh, I made it. Okay. So as you can see that this is the normal block and you can double it up. The downside of this is is they go out like within a 16 block radius or something to draw in starlight. So obviously it's getting far less starlight than if they were further apart, but more than if there was nothing. So I stopped and spaced that out a little bit. And then on this one, I just did one there and then one there. I want to have it go eventually because there's no reason not to. And I did these out here because... This is going to have to get bigger again soon, and I didn't want these to be in the way. It's enough to fully power my thing at night, but during the day, it's only like a quarter powered, so I can't use it during the day as much anymore. But what we're going to do now is make this thing. Um, we should have everything. Oh, it's a, the metal chest, so therefore it needs a pick, I guess. Um, I guess I put my pick in here. Huh. I'm curious where my pick went. We do need this. The reactor. Don't want to use my silk touch pick. Hmm. Where is my gold backpack? Oh, there it is. You know, I'm 
more than a little curious what happened to my pick. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, did I put it in here? No. That's where all my other important stuff was. Well, I'll have to find it some other time, but I'll just do this for now. I probably shoved it in some chest when I was putting stuff away. Hopefully. Otherwise, I gotta make it again. And, I mean, that wouldn't be much of a problem. I have night metal now. But, uh, it would suck for, um, experience. It's max level, I think. Although, I still don't have the ability to actually put any modifiers on it. So, we got all this. And, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. The infuser is what I was looking at before. Um, let's see. And as you notice, the things don't gray out again. I don't know what does it or what doesn't do it. So, coal engine. We finally have this ready to go. So, anvil on either side. Okay. And then, I think it was gold chest in the bottoms. Four leaves. Got my reactor. There. I think these are the way they go. Oh no. The other ones. This is definitely one of those ones where you would like to have the button push. And fiery gears and a cauldron. And then it's just pistons for the rest. Which, you know, it's funny. You, I went through all the effort to get a lot of this stuff, and all of it was in the gas tower for the most part. Everything but the gold chest. You got the fiery tears for the set of the fiery blood. You got the cauldrons and the anvils and everything. We're in there, tons of steel leaves. But yeah, so let's put this down here. Ah, uh, did I mess something up? Yeah, it's not lit up. Oh, Sear Forest Controller. There we go. That's one pixelated block. Okay, guys, let's, let's hope this gets us to H3. We've been in H2 for like, I don't know, 70 episodes or so, since like episode 40, 50 or so. I should really get better spectral relays and all that, but it's like, I'm hoping I don't have to use this too much longer. This system is annoying. I don't like the, how the Astral Tomb works, it's just very unorganized. I think there's something that makes these rituals faster, but I don't have that either. I'd rather use the blood magic stuff to be honest, but I couldn't do that yet. And the game is lagging pretty bad, if not crashing. There we go. We have entered age three. Okay. I hope I got that picture. So what does this even do? I mean, it's been... Oh, I don't even have a tiny coal engine. Won't occupy any sides. So I have an engine, don't know what it does with what, but let's look at age three guys. So, I never entered a stronghold or a white fortress, huh? Okay, so age two, we're leaving age two for now. The only thing I didn't do was make an extended crafting table or a speed runner. And I think I could make a speed runner now maybe, but age three, looks like an iron lantern which I've actually already made. Immersive engineering manual. Enter the nether. So it's to find a natural nether portal in like a desert. I don't think I've ever seen any deserts. I have seen savannas though. Um. Hmm, 
cart maker. Need a new ore prospector. Railways, that's probably not going to happen until I get a much better source of iron. A bunch of ores. More advanced crafting tables when I never made the other one. Aha! No. Hoppers. I thought that was to sift stuff out. Arctic Abyss. I already have an engineer's hammer, I thought. Because I had to use it for a previous stage. Ah, uh, there we go. To help you build stuff. So I guess we'll start with the engineering manual. Um, probably be the last thing on this episode. I mean, it's not really a long episode. But I kind of want to start into age 3 fully on its own episode. Um, let's see. Let's see what it takes. Oh, I can make a small coal engine now. Takes less modular cost, which... I don't know. I guess it's for running carts and stuff yeah it's funny that was the be all end all thing of the last age and it's not all that useful as far as I can tell yet um immerse oops I'm spelling it immersive engineering wrong um engineering there we go engineer's manual a book and a lever. Well, I think we can manage that. Um, I put them in here. Where did I put them in here? I know I got a book in here. I know I was putting a lot of stuff. I got like levers and stuff. yeah, I do. Okay, oh, I could have just done this. So engineering manual. Ta-da. We don't want this. There we go. Okay. We got the hammer. I think. In here. There's my pickaxe. I'm still only clumsy with it. Wow. Oh no, that's... That was the second pickaxe I made because my other one was breaking so fast. When I was, you know, vein mining out stuff. Huh. I don't know where my real pickaxe is. I'll have to find it. Or even making this one into the other one. I don't know what happened to it, though. I had it previously. Might have been one of those times where I was mass deleting stuff to try to fill up my inventory in the trash compactor over there. I usually try to be really careful, but stuff happens. So, this is one of those times where I wish the thing would gray out what I don't want. So I need to find the engineering hammer. Or maybe just make another one. It's just like a stick and a piece of iron or something. I'll take that just in case we need it. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I haven't used my building wand in a while either. I don't ever build like large amounts of the same materials a problem. Okay, so we got our engineering hammer and we got our book. And it looks like this is the path you go to get out of age three. Although I'm probably gonna need blaze rods and everything else. Um engineering workbench, overhead projector, vacuum tube. Yeah. Conveyor belt. Storage drawer controller. Storage drawer controller. Okay, that, that I need. I'm going to make that right now if I can. Because that was what I've been wanting for a long time for storage reading. Well, oh, more water wheels. Deal, huh? Okay, anyways, let's see if we can make our drawer controller. That'll help sorting all this inventory out. Then I'll work on doing that 
off screen between this episode and the next and we can really get into H3. Assuming I can make this and I don't need specialty parts. Compacting, that is very good. Um, controller. It needs redstone engineering blocks. Just trim. Ooh, yeah, that, that's going to be a problem. The platinum. The star metal, I might have one left. Redstone engineering block. Redstone alloy plate. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting that anytime soon. I thought I might be able to skip straight to that. The compacting drawer is platinum plates and pistons. That's not too bad. That'd be really good for, say, um, my mob farm where some of the things stack, but you know they have higher upgrades like iron blocks or something. I don't know what the drawer key button is for. How do I get platinum? I'm guessing it's just an ore I can find now. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this is going to end this episode here. I guess it's kind of short, but hey, people have been asking for shorter. Mostly, we just made our engine and we got out of age three. We have set up for this and all that to get ready to upgrade this further if we have to. I don't know if we need to worry about astral sorcery at all anymore. Other than star metal ingots, it's the only way to transmute iron into star metal. So we're probably still going to have to mess with this some more. I mean, I really wish I'd built this elsewhere. I'm glad I built it here and I didn't do it where I was planning. But this thing seems to be ever expanding and it's kind of annoying. Um, apparently there's, I looked at it and there's like relays and stuff that can transfer power through solid blocks now. So I could have this up atop there and then transfer down to my base, but that's much further along than where I was to begin with. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the end. Um, Welcome to age three. We're going to start up with that and I can finally change my little uh, uh, thumbnails. You know, they've been the same for a while now. Try to find a new font if I can. But catch you guys later. Bye.